Hey guys, this is your host Aliman Singh and today I would be talking about the most common problems faced on Android. So, let's get started. The most common problem faced by Android users is the drainage of battery. The Android operating system uses a lot of battery. However, to get more time on your Android phone, you should close all the unused utilities and keep the brightness to a level which is not very bright but acceptable to your eyes. If the message on your instant messenger is not going through, there can only be very few reasons for it. Make sure you are connected to the internet and then resend the message. However, if it does not work, reboot the phone and then try again. Also, make sure that you have the latest version of the app from the Google Play Store. If your phone is consuming too much RAM, then you should uninstall all the unused app or clear the cache from them. Programs like Clean Master or App Cache Cleaner can automate this process. There can be various reasons for an app crash. Make sure you have the latest version of the application and that your phone is running the latest Android OS. If this doesn't work, close the app and relaunch it. You could also re-download the app from Google Play Store. Syncing errors on Android are quite common. Make sure the syncing option is on. You are connected to the internet and your passwords are correct. However, if this still does not work, Remove the account and add it again. Occasionally, Android users cannot connect to their Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or cellular network. To fix this, you can toggle the unresponsive network and if it still doesn't work, you can reboot the phone. However, if after all these steps, the network is not working, you should check your Bluetooth device and your Wi-Fi network. You can also reset the Wi-Fi router if required. If your mobile phone is not connecting to your Wi-Fi network, there can be various reasons for that. Make sure you are entering the correct password and that the airplane mode is switched off. If the Wi-Fi network is stuck on obtaining IP address, restart your Wi-Fi router. If the problem still persists, try to change the IP settings on your phone from DHCP to static. The dropping of calls on Android is really rare unless your phone is infected with malware. To fix this, make sure you have a stable cellular connection. However, if the problem still persists, try to delete any call filtering apps you have on your phone. If the screen of your phone is unresponsive, you should restart it. Hold the power button for a few seconds and let it turn off. Wait for a few minutes and turn the phone back on. However, if the screen does not respond yet, your best bet is to take it to a service center. If your phone is not charging, then there is something wrong with the hardware. Make sure the charger is plugged properly into the wall socket and the wall socket is providing power. The cable could be damaged too, so try using another cable. If you are charging from a computer, make sure the computer is working and is switched on. A very common problem is the freezing of user interface. This usually happens when your storage is almost full. However, to fix this, you can either move your apps to the SD card or the cloud or you could delete them if they are not used. Additionally, you could clear the data or the cache. You should also try to close all the open apps and restrict your use of live wallpapers. This is all we have on this video. If you enjoyed watching it, be sure to give us a like. If you want to receive the latest video updates from Intellect Digest, be sure to subscribe. This is your host Charliman Singh signing off. Thanks for watching.